my god, you are the Hello beautiful people, welcome back. Mastering any skill in this game takes your time and effort. You may have already watched hundreds and hundreds of these tips and tricks videos. But, did you learned anything from it? Maybe no. And that's because of the lack of interest you show. I mean, watching a video will never make you a pro magically, no. You still have to practice and play regularly to be good at it. So, in this video, I will share every little things that you usually miss while doing a fight. But before that, do smash the like button if you have not yet. I know I tell you to like my videos in almost every single video. But still no one likes it, and that hurts a lot. Anyways, so winning fights is the only thing that makes you look like a pro. Sometimes, it doesn't even matter how you have won it. I mean it can be either by camping, or snaking. Or maybe, by a long distance sniping. The only thing matter is winning in this game. But I personally don't take it that way. My vision is pretty straightforward, and I believe that player who wins a fight by camping or snaking, is nothing but a gay. Yes, that's what I believe and no one can change my belief. Anyways, so tip 1, test your speed. When doing a fight, you must try to finish that fight as quick as possible. Otherwise it will end up being a boring fight, and obviously you and your enemy, both will end up holding each positions for eternity. Holding one position for long in the middle of a fight can never grow your skills. You need to rush them face to face if you want to up your experience. So try to test your speed and look for quick finish if you have the chance to. For example, watch this clip where I clutched in a very impossible situation. Tip 2, close in timing. The fact that most players still don't know when to exactly rush or close into their opponent is so dumb. I mean, sometimes they rush after getting just one knock, which is quite risky, because you probably don't know where his other mates are hiding. If you got one knock and you already know their whole squad's position, then it's okay to rush immediately at them in these kind of situation. But you need to know the perfect timing to close in. For example, watch this clip where I knocked three of them from far and closed in timely. Tip 3, Handling Chaos Situation. Well, clutching one squad is quite easy, right? I know you probably want to hit me with a Nokia phone after hearing that. But trust me, clutching one squad is easier than clutching two squad back to back. But, all it takes is lots and lots of experience, and then it will become way too easy for you. At these kind of situations, you need to stay calm and keep your eyes peeled at your enemy's every single move. Watch this clip, where I fought two squads at a time and came out alive.
Tip 4, Learn from Failure. The only greatest way to become a pro is by learning from your failure. Don't fail the same way you failed yesterday, no. That won't teach you nothing. Instead, fail in 100 different ways so that it will teach you tons of lessons. And please guys, do not fail in your school after hearing whatever I said. <laughs> I'm only talking about the game. Anyways, so watch this failed clutch of mine where I made zero mistakes but still failed. Watch it. Tip 5, Risky Rush. Most of the times, mostly in the end circle, we usually end up rushing accidentally in a compound where our enemies are already holding. So in this type of situation, all you have to do is to fight back. Always remember, giving up is never an option for us, doesn't matter if it's a life or a game. Anyways, that's enough motivational speech for today. Jokes aside, watch this risky rush of mine where I pulled off a win in almost dead situation. Alright guys, so now that you have watched the whole video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise I will come to your house and steal your potato device. What the Anyways guys, so that was it for today, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one, peace out guys.